Hello, my name is Irvin Rude Jr. I'm going to make a little video for you on how to lose weight fast. If you want to lose weight, you're not alone. About half of all Americans are trying to lose weight at any given time. While there are many things you can do to shed pounds, losing weight too quickly can be dangerous. Bad diets, diet pills, and fasting may help you reduce the number on the scale, but these methods can cause severe health complications. However, if you are generally healthy and you are determined to drop several pounds quickly, there are several techniques and tips you can adopt to help you reach your short-term goals. The purpose of most fad diets is to promote rapid weight loss that you can almost see overnight. Fad diets are short-term solutions. If you can stay on a fad diet more than a few days, you could cause your body serious harm. You should always consult your health care provider before beginning any weight loss program to make sure your body can handle the added strain to its system. Here are some popular diets with the simple instructions that claim to result in fast short-term weight loss. It involves eating a low-fat, high-fiber diet. You mainly eat a special type of cabbage soup, but you can also have a moderate portions of certain fruits and vegetables, occasionally meats and rice, a minimum of four glasses of water, and a multivitamin each day. This diet lasts seven days and is recommended as a permanent solution for long-term weight loss. Because of the lack of nutrients you consume on it, be very careful with it. Now number five, your salt-free diet. This diet helps you lose weight by eliminating water retention to the body. On this diet, you cannot have any salt, which includes not only table salt, but also all the added sodium found in pre-packaged and prepared foods. This involves preparing sodium-free products at home and avoiding processed foods altogether, which also means avoid to eat out at restaurants. It also in involves drinking up to two liters, which is about eight cups of water, each day to replenish essential body fluids, although green tea is allowed in moderation. Many prepared foods have as much as 30% of your daily value, I'm assuming sodium. You get your daily requirement of sodium from a healthy diet. Too much can cause you to retain water weight. If your rings are more difficult to take off or your shoes become tighter after a salty meal, those are signs that your body is sensitive to sodium. It's important to note that this diet is more effective for those people who tend to retain water more easily than others. If you're not sure whether you're particularly prone to water retention, pay attention to your hands and feet the next time you eat something salty. If your rings are more difficult to take off or your shoes become tighter after a salty meal, those are signs that your body is sensitive to sodium. Develop a healthy and personalized meal plan. Forget about how much you should be eating by scheduling a consultation with a dietitian or a physician to discuss your weight loss goals, special dietary needs, current eating habits, and potential areas for improvement. Choose meals that have a healthy balance of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, low fat dairy, and lean proteins. A typical dinner should be filled with half vegetables or fruits half whole grains and lean protein. Now number two 
with that would be to plan your meals in advance. This can help you incorporate more nutritious foods into your diet and limit your calorie intake. That is very important. So you also want to be able to determine your daily calorie needs. Your individual calorie needs will vary based on age, gender, height, and activity level. Knowing exactly how much you target daily intake is will help you stick to your diet. Now monitor the number of calories and grams of fat you consume each day and try not to exceed the US guidelines. Okay now number four, now keep a food diary. Write down every meal, snack, and drink you consume as well as appropriate quantities for an entire week. When possible, write down the number of calories in each food you eat as you eat it. Keep in mind that the recommended serving size is often considerably smaller than the serving size you actually eat. Don't forget to include coffee mixed in, condiments, and other additions to your daily diet. Once you have done this, you should be able to estimate your typical daily calorie intake and compare it to your goal with an online calorie calculator. Now number five, identify your food triggers and plan accordingly. Careful planning can help you trigger foods and empty calorie traps. You may have identified in your food journal. If you don't purchase these foods or if you don't plan meals in advance, you will be less likely to sabotage your diet when you're pressed for time. Watch your portion sizes. Look for healthy, delicious meals and snack ideas online or in cookbooks and create a menu for the week. Make a list of what you'll need for these meals and don't stray from your list when you get to the grocery store. Look at the market circulars. can also give you ideas at even cutting cost by buying weekly sale items and seasonal produce. Incorporate approximate portion sizes into your meal plan. For example, a healthy snack almonds and dried cranberries can be turned into a huge calorie source if you don't pay attention to the quantities. Also preparing a pre-apportioned healthy snacks and help you avoid mindless overeating can make it convenient to grab a healthy snack. Don't skip meals. Eating a healthy breakfast increases your rest metabolic rate earlier in the day keeps your energy levels high and may help you resist the urge of high calorie snacks throughout the day. Plan to eat a snack every two to four hours to keep your metabolism active. Eating regularly also keeps your blood sugar stable and reduces unhealthy calorie binges or deviations from your meal plan. Select smart substitutions for unhealthy sources of fat, sugar, and calories. Most foods have healthy counterparts that will allow you to enjoy your favorite foods without unnecessary fat, sugar, and calories. Exchanging high calorie and high fat foods and drinks for healthier alternatives can help you lose weight faster. Lastly, snack smartly. Swap potato chips and candy bars for snacks that are nutrient rich and low in calories and fat. Avoid processed and packaged foods when possible. Or buy snacks that have single serving packets of 100 to 200 calories. Healthy and easy snacks include nuts, rice cakes, fresh dried fruits, baby carrots, cherry tomatoes, and so on. Vegetables are generally very low in calories, very high in fiber, and full of flavor and nutrition. But avoid fatty dressings or dips. Fruit provides a good source of soluble fiber, releasing energy more slowly and keeping you 
feeling full longer. Low fat dairy such as yogurt or cheddar cheese can also be a healthy snack in moderation. Try combining string cheese with a handful of grapes, spreading peanut butter over a few crackers, or dipping red pepper into a few tablespoons of hummus. I personally like some fresh peanut butter that is ground up from peanuts, organic peanuts preferably, and spreading that on apple with some cinnamon. So that's a great little snack. You can also have some hummus with some uh, to, on a tostada shell with some vegetables, saute some vegetables and spread that on top. That's a wonderful little snack that is great for you to eat. So be sure that you are drinking enough water and try to get exercise regularly. So do the best that you can and so just think each day just think is this getting me closer to my six pack quest or further from my six pack quest. And with regular exercise and jotting down on a calendar your exercise for the day and also for the week and try to stick to it and have a workout partner so you can have somebody to be accountable to and this will help you to lose weight fast and be able to stay on a routine regularly this is Irvin Rue Jr. hope this video has been helpful for you I wish you the best of luck good luck be happy and be healthy. Eat something good for me. Bye-bye.